am Dr. Patrice Little here at MP Student Mag, where we are keeping you updated with every aspect of your life in and out of school. Joining us today for our Let's Talk segment is Eric Taylor, a family nurse practitioner and CEO of Priority Mail in Houston, Texas. Welcome, Eric. How are you? Great, Dr. Little. I appreciate the opportunity to be on your platform here today. Thank you for what you are doing with MP Student Magazine. And I'm excited about the opportunity to share my message here with your crowd today. So I understand that and in addition to what you do in practice, you are also a product distributor for a unique services. Can you expand a little bit about what that uh, area is? Yes. Uh, you know, in nurse practitioner school, they teach us to become great clinicians where we go out in the community and we provide quality care in the areas that we specialize in. Uh, so with that, I've had an opportunity to see a lot of different products come to market, and I've been presented with an opportunity to be part of a company called 1186 Real Artesian Water. This is a real artesian water from my hometown in Alabama, where I'm from, and it is a great product. We are in the state of Alabama, the official water for the retirement system for the state of Alabama, and many mom and pop shops all throughout the state of Alabama. And my wife and I had an opportunity to become business owners in this company uh, many years ago. And now where we are, we are advancing uh, with the product across the southeast part of the country. We're in the uh, state of Louisiana, the state of Georgia, Florida, and here in Houston, Texas, in select HEB locations. We also have a distribution company where we distribute this water locally here in the city of Houston. It's a great product. And when I, you, know, you think about water, we cannot live without it. So it was a no brainer for me to be a part of that. And again, when we think about school, they don't really give us the business savvy piece of that. So I was looking at an opportunity for legacy building and to leave this world better than I found it. And this was the perfect opportunity for us to be a part of this business. And I like the fact that you mentioned about they do not introduce these um, the business adventures to us. Like, what would you say to an NP who is interested in exploring entrepreneurship? What well, what I would say is do your market research, find out where your passion is, uh, think about where you want to be long term. I always look at life in one year, three year, five year uh, kind of uh, increments. And then I want to see how the vision that I have could possibly play out over time based on what I've done with my research. And once you find your passion, you can do take that passion and turn it into a profit. And from there, the sky is the limit. But you kind of have to be willing to step outside the box, because a lot of times we come out of school to become employees when you can actually come out of school and become an employer. Um, but again, not everybody is meant to be an entrepreneur. And one thing I'll say about it. It's not an easy journey. Uh, there are many uh, difficult times, difficult decisions that you have to make in being in this uh, arena. And, you know, a lot of people are on social media talking about, you know, how flashy and this, that, and the other. No, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. But I must say, I love the opportunity with the group that we're part of and to see this product come from where it came from and to be where it is today. This was an amazing opportunity and we wouldn't change it for anything in the world. And one of the things that I love that you mentioned is that you're also leaving a legacy because you want to make sure you leave this world better than it was when you came into it. Can you expand a little bit more as far as the additional services that you provide for your other business adventure that does that for uh, individuals to give them the quality of life that they're looking for? So from a priority mail uh, perspective, Priority Mail exists today because I've been doing this a long time in men's health, and I've seen way too many men my age and younger dying prematurely. So I was like, you know, what can I do to fix this? What can I do to at least help? And I realized there was a gap in what men understood and in our knowledge about our health, and then just men being plain stubborn. And I can speak honestly about that because we're stubborn. So I realized I was able to make a connection with a lot of the men that I was caring for. And they would sometimes come in and request to speak just to me because I could relate. I realized then that I had a gift when it came to connecting with men and I had the training and expertise to help them on their journey to wellness. So from that, 
I focus on Priority Mail, which is here to motivate, educate, and help men navigate their wellness journey. And from there, it kind of took off. Honestly, it was more of a, a passion or a hobby for me until I realized that the market was saying, hey, where are you? Where can I come see you? Because I love what you're doing and I know that you can help me. And I was like, okay, you know, maybe I have something here. So we became official and really, pretty much the story is that, you know, I knew what I needed to do at the time, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I was scared to do it because again, I was focused on being that good employee, being that great nurse, that great nurse practitioner until this opportunity presented itself. And, you know, I'm here today and I love what I do. I wouldn't change it. Uh, and the men that I'm able to care for, uh, very appreciative of the services that I provide in the way in which I provide those services because they can really relate. And it's an exciting opportunity for me moving forward. And one of the things that um, you also mentioned is, as far as it was just an area that you realized that had just needed someone to, to take over. So you identified a gap and we created this platform. It really solved the problem because many men, as you mentioned, and I'm repeating what you said, they do not get the treatment that they need um, in time. Have you found it more, say, easier to communicate with the men through their spouses or how, does it work both ways as far as getting them involved in their health? Well, it's a collaborative approach with the men. Uh, a lot of times, again, women are three times more likely to go to the doctor. And again, you all talk differently in your circles. And because of the way you all share information, a lot of times your sister circle, women are saved just on the conversations that you all have. We men don't talk like that. But if you, if your wife, your girlfriend, your mother, your auntie, uh, here's what I'm saying on this platform, they're able to share that with the men in their lives and then they're able to encourage them to come and check it out. Once I can get them here, get their attention and they see my approach, the way I deliver it and the connection that we make, then I'm able to assist them with the challenges that they have. I can get them to open up and say more about what they're concerned about. Because again, I've shared some of my own personal stories, my own personal challenges with my health, which again, makes me human. And you know, I don't put on the stethoscope and lab coat and become some superhuman and I'm immune to life because I live in this world just like them. And I'm a man, so I truly understand. So with that collaborative approach, I can get them in and help them and assist them to develop an individualized plan that will help them on their journey to wellness. And can you walk us through the, like, the day in the life of you functioning as a nurse practitioner from the time they inquire about your services to the part where you're discharging them to continue to care for themselves? Sure. Well, it is. We're not a traditional cookie cutter practice where we're just looking at numbers. We don't do that. We schedule our patients uh, strategically and intentionally. Um, when we bring your patient in, we're going to you know you do your standard enrollment process. We'll get you in. But we need to understand your why. Once we understand your why you're here and then we look at the age appropriate screenings that, of course, we have to look at anyway. We can then develop that plan and start tweaking things based on the services we have to meet your need. And then we, we sit down and have that, that connection. We, we develop and build that rapport over time. Because I don't want to just talk to you and tell you, hey, you need to do this, 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 and this. I always ask, why are you here? So what have you done? How can I help? Have you seen some things out there that you have questions about that we can maybe talk about more in detail? Because most of the patients have done their Google research. I call them their Googleologist consult. Well, they Google it and then they come to see us and then we have to kind of, you know, help answer some of the questions, you know, the food, the uh, things that are not accurate versus those that are accurate. And then once we make that connection with the uh, menu of services that we provide there in the clinic, we can then pick what's appropriate for them and help them map it out. And then you see them on a regular basis. I follow up with them virtually. Uh, they all have a contact number for me there in the office where they can call. We can get a quick update and try to encourage them along the way. And with that, I found that that, that emotional support that me and get, that I'm able to provide, it helps them tremendously stick into the plan. And then understanding that what I'm doing now is gonna help me live a happier, healthier, longer life and be here for my kids and also build their own legacy. So it's a great plan that we have set here in the clinic. And we see anywhere from about, 10 to 15 patients a day. Now, when you think about the mix out there, that's not a lot of patients. But again, the way we do it, 
it works best for our patients and they feel like they've gotten the most time and return on uh, investment for them coming in to see us. And we provide virtual services as well. So if you can't come into the office due to COVID, which we completely understand, we can see you virtually and we coordinate all the facility, the care that they need at other facilities uh, through our, our network of providers. And that is an impressive description as far as the services you provide and the approach, mainly because it's not just nurse practitioner students that view this, our Let's Talk segment, it's also the general public. And for them to differentiate the type of care that's delivered between the nurse practitioner, physician assistant, and MD. So thank you for that, that um, explanation. So before we go, and I hate that we have to go because this was so good. But before we go, do you have any other things that you feel like every NP student should know um, as far as when it comes to just practice and business as well as education? Well, I would say uh, never stop learning. The day you stop learning, you might as well stop practicing. Um, network, build you a network of, of colleagues, uh, mentors uh, that can assist you on your journey uh, through your, your, your nurse practitioner uh, career. Um, if you find something that you find that you're really good at, patient, you always hear patients or others saying, hey, you know, you're really good at this, you know, and they always come into you for that consult, that curbside uh, consult. That may be something you may need to look into if you are of the mindset of owning your own business or being an entrepreneur. That may be where you need to focus because, again, the market will tell you where uh, there is a need. And if, again, you have that expertise to fill that need, there is an opportunity to build a business from that. Um, and just think about your long term goals. What is it that you want to do? What do you want to leave behind? My passion has always been men's health. and I, I want to leave this place better than I found it. And I've been fortunate to be in this opportunity here in the men's health arena where I'm seeing men doing what I love, and it is, uh, it, it's an amazing feeling every day to go in and know that I'm helping change some lives and save some lives in that process. So once you build your network of circle, or your circle of uh, influence, and I call it my circle of influence because I deal with a lot of men, mm -hmm. um, continue to nurture that circle, check on them on a regular basis if you can, and reach out to them when they're, they, you feel that um, you haven't had a connection in a while because COVID has really changed some things. And just try to continue to nurture that bond and build as you continue on your road to success. And the last thing, how can everyone get in touch with you? Because you have so many things to offer from the water all the way down to that Priority Mail's Facebook group that I love so much. I'm not a part of it, but I love what you're doing. <laughs> okay, great. So from a water standpoint, again, this is 1186 Real Artesian Water. We have a website and it's 1186water.com. And again, spell out 11, E-L-E-V-E-N, 86water.com. Check us out there. You can see our story. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We also have a distribution company for the water. It's called Starlux Distribution. And we're on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And if you are in the Houston area and you'd like to have a curbside delivery, you can give us a call at 832-736-8490. That is the, the business uh, aspect with the water. Now, for me and Priority Mail, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I also have a YouTube channel, and you can visit me at Priority Mail. That's P-R-O-Y-O-R-I-T-Y-M-A-L-E-L-L-C. And you can follow me on uh, whichever platform you like, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Uh, I also have a Priority Mail group. It is a men's only group. I'm sorry, ladies, I'm not ignoring you. But men need this space. We need this safe space where we can communicate, connect, and talk about the things that are necessary for our health. But that group is about 650 men strong. We go live in that group every Sunday. We'll be going live today. Join the group today. Check us out on Facebook. Um, from uh, uh, the Venus Restorative Health and Wellness Clinic, we have a beautiful clinic here in the city of Houston located at 4914 Bissonette Street, Suite 101, Bel Air, Texas. And the phone number is 713-623-1414. Men, if you're in the Houston area, and would like to see us, give us a call. We'll be happy to see you. We also provide virtual clinic visits as well. Well, thank you, Eric Taylor, the family nurse practitioner from Houston, Texas. 
thank you for tuners, for your viewers, for tuning in. And we yeah. hope that if you found something that you really like, we encourage you to share it and also comment via MP Student Magazine um, or info at mpstudentmagazine.com. And stay tuned for our next episode here at MP Student Mag, where we are keeping you updated with every aspect of your life in and out of school. I'm Dr. Patrice. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.